So, hi everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Um, exciting news. You know why I'm here. We have a new collection. So, we have a new options collection. I'm gloved up. I'm ready to go. I'm going to swatch these for you. But just to give you an idea of the colours, we have Eternal Green. Um, we have Fresco Nude. And we have Aurora White. It is amazing. So just um, to touch on what we had posted up through the week. So um, you would have noticed that there was a poll on our Team Accents Facebook page. We did that because we were trying to determine what is the driving force um, or, you know, the consistent factor of people um, or techs using um, options over Luxio or Luxio over options. Um, and it was actually really interesting to get your feedback. So for those who did um, contribute to that poll, thank you. Um, it was really, really good. It was really insightful. So basically what we were trying to understand is um, Luxio is so hugely popular, um, but our options colors are, and pots or the, the actual product itself is so beautiful to apply. It is amazing to apply. It's, it's the consistency. There's, um, they have over the years, accents have improved the formula um, for the options colors. So it is different now. And, um, and like all the new pots and everything or all the new consistency um, or formula, but it's, it's very, very creamy. It's very thin. So when you apply it, you only need a touch of product on the end of your brush and it's a super thin coat. So one of the things that, um, like I said, was one of the driving forces behind it is, you know, um, it was interesting to see why people would pick up a bottle of Luxio over options. Um, but some things that were raised um, and, you know, what some of the key factors for me, for, for example, and I'm not sure if anyone can add to this, but for me using a pot, I love the control of having a brush in my hand, you know, to be able to have that kind of um, end of a brush as opposed to a bottle brush. Um, I feel that I can get in closer around the cuticle and sidewalls. Um, I feel that with options, I don't have to worry about shrinkage um, or leaking into the cuticle because you're using such a small amount um, of product and you're applying it so thin, you basically, you've got that control over your product the whole time. So um, would love to hear any further feedback on options. Um, we're also really looking forward to seeing what um, all you Ace and Ice um, come up with, with some, you know, designs and um, applications using these, these three new colors that we're about to release. So um, I'm going to swatch them for you. And as I said, please feel free to leave your feedback under this video so that um, we can find it. Um, as to, you know, any further input with regards to options um, and how you find it. What we'd like to actually um, get some feedback on as well is, what is it that you love about options? I know that a lot of you mentioned for art, um, but what else do you love about options? Um, yeah, just, just anything in general, all right? So I'm gonna swatch these for you and yeah, enjoy. Okay, bye for now. Okay, so I've swatched these three already um, and I've finished them with a matte top coat. So with our Aurora White, I did give it a, a light file and then I recoated it So um, with matte on. So these are the matte finishes. Now I'm going to show you the consistency um, and what they look like. If I can pick up a tip. <laughs> All right, this time... I'm going to work smart and I'm actually using different brushes for my glitter and for my color. So I have given this a quick stir, which has created some bubbles. So ignore that. Um, but just to show you the consistency now, 
it looks quite solid. The color looks quite solid, but it is quite sheer. When you're applying options, you only need to, I'm just popping the bubbles out of it. Um, you only need to apply a very small amount. You don't need a lot of product. Big tip, I'm gonna need a little bit more. So to show you the creamy consistency, paint on a thin coat. This is kind of almost a sheer, probably a little bit more pigmented than a complete translucent. So you have got some color going there, but it's the blue tack underneath, um, but it is still quite sheer. All right, so we'll pop that in. angle that lamp away. Okay. In fact, I think we'll wait because I don't want to have to clean my brush um, to get the color off. So um, to get the green off once I do the green. So Fresco Nude, this one is. Um, and to get the true color, just two super thin coats. And you will get a fairly opaque finish. All right, second coat. So you can see it comes up a lot more solid, but not completely solid. So it is, or there is a very, very, very slight translucent effect, but it's minuscule, like you'll, you'll barely see it but you can see how creamy this goes on. So with this new formula, um, it just goes on beautifully. As opposed to the old, old formula. So this new formula has been around for a while. I got blue tech stuck on my finger. Okay. All right. So that's that one. got some blue tack stuck on my finger and now everything's sticking. Okay, Eternal Green. This is a really beautiful color. I'm feeling very clumsy today. I'm sorry, everyone. All right. So again, you can see how creamy that is. You can see the consist um, consistency. I tripped on that. It's quite thin. Oh, we're doing a bigger tip, aren't we? So I'll need a little bit more. This almost has like a metallic sheen to it. I'm sh oh, actually looking through the camera. It looks like you can see that as well. So it's almost got, or it has got, like a little touch of like a pearl effect running through it. Beautiful, solid, opaque finish on the first coat. Okay, we'll pop that in and cure it. And I'm gonna pop some shine on, on this nail. Okay, and we'll do the second coat of this green, eternal green, I had a mental blank. Actually, I think I've still got a little bit of color. Let me just clean my brush a bit better. Okay. So 
so you get pretty much with this color you get pretty much the same color but more solid you'll find with the lighter shades on the first coat it looks nothing like what you think it's gonna look like but once you apply your second coat the true color will come through so it's just beautiful and the application of it um, to apply it is really beautiful all right so that's those two and let me show you the Aurora white which is stunning So, I'm using my other brush. It's quite solid, as are all the auroras. So I'm going to apply just a thin coat. I'll do two coats on this as well. You can do one coat. And still get a really good coverage and just to show you let me spread these particles out a little but I'm gonna do two coats so I get a really solid finish and I can give it a light file and not lose any um, you know any bling effect any sparkle effect so that's one coat that in. We'll give this a coat of shine on. The pearl gives it like a metallic kind of effect. Again, just in time for Christmas with Christmas designs. Beautiful. And there's the finished um, fresco nude. Just pop him there for a sec. I'm sticking to everything. Okay. Put the second coat on. And you get that full solid glitter coverage. It's just stunning. I can just see this on toes over summer, which I know you or a lot of you are heading into your winter. Um, but down in Australia, we're heading into our summer and with a tan, that's going to look fabulous. All right, so I'll pop that in and cure that. Here's our finished eternal green. So that's just beautiful. Now with the um, Aurora what I will do is I'll apply a coat of shine on and then I will give it a light file and then reapply a coat of shine on and show you the finished um, result. My chair is very, very squeaky. And look at that sparkle. That's beautiful. All right. So we'll pop that in, cure it, then I'll give it a file, and then I'm going to give it another coat of shine on and show you the finished results. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that swatch. I'll be back to show you them together and finished. Okay, and here's the finished result. So I'll just bring that up so you can see it closely. So that's with your shine on and your matte on. Actually, the... Um, Aurora looks really effective with the matte on as well. 
And of course, these colors always look fantastic with matte and with shine on. So that's it. All right, everyone take care. Bye for now.